Hi guys! The point of this video is just to show you how to prepare the financial statements from a trial balance. Now as you know, um, in your exam you will have a question where there will be a trial balance with additional information and you need to prepare your financial statements. The problem is that many of you are asking me how to go about attempting the question. So the aim of this video is just to show you how to move from your trial balance and your additional information to your financial statements. There are many different ways that you can do it and if you've got a way that works for you, you go ahead and use that way. I'm going to show you the way that I think is the best or easiest way to go about answering the question. So what I've done is I've drawn up like a, an extract of a trial balance and I've just given you specific accounts. There's accounts receivable, bad debts, equipment, the allowance for doubtful debts and accumulated depreciation on equipment. Okay, and then I've given you three transactions, which is like your additional information that you'd get in a question. There are no calculations here, I've just given it to you as is, because the aim of the video is just to show you how to draw up financial statements. So by number one, I said depreciation on equipment is 10,000 Rand. You would normally have to go and um, calculate depreciation, but I've given it to you in this example. So if you have to calculate depreciation and you get to 10,000 Rand, what is your journal entry? Your journal entry is debit depreciation, credit accumulated depreciation on equipment and the amount is 10,000. That would have been your journal entry for transaction 1. For transaction 2, it's bad debts to be written off is 2,000 Rand. You obviously would have needed to go and calculate how much bad debts to write off. But your journal entry would be debit bad debts, credit accounts receivable. And the amount is 2,000 Rand. So that is for transaction 2. And then for transaction 3, I'm telling you, the allowance calculated that year in this 3,000 Rand. Okay, normally you would have had to go and calculate the percentage of the accounts receivable. But I've given it to you at 3,000. So what is your journal entry? You say 3,000 minus my allowance in the trial balance is 2,000. So 3,000 minus 2,000 gives me 1,000. So your allowance has increased by 1,000, so you will debit bad debts and you'll create your allowance with a difference of 1,000. So we debit bad debts and we create our allowance for doubtful debts with 1,000, which is a difference between 3,000 and the 2,000 in your trial balance. Okay, now that you've done calculating and determining what the debits and credits are, you need to now put those journals onto the trial balance, which is your question paper. So you're now going to say, okay, for transaction one, I debited depreciation and I credited accumulated depreciation on equipment. Now, if you look at your trial balance, you don't have a depreciation account, which means you now need to go and open up a depreciation account. So at the bottom of my trial balance, I will add a depreciation account. And I said I'm going to debit it with 1,000. So that is an additional account which I am now adding to my trial balance. The credit was to accumulate a depreciation on equipment. So year by accumulated depreciation on equipment, I will say plus 10,000. Because you made an adjustment to it. The second journal is debit bad debts and credit accounts receivable with 2,000. So by bad debts, you will add 2,000. And by accounts receivable, you will minus 2,000, which is actually a, cre a credit. And then the third transaction, debit bad debts. Again, you are adding to the bad debts, so it's a plus 1,000 still. And then you are crediting the allowance, which means you are increasing your allowance with 1,000. Okay, so that's the first few steps. You went through your transactions, you calculated your answers, you put it into journal entries, you then transfer the journal entries onto your question paper trial balance. Again, okay, when you are done with all of your transactions, you can then now proceed with the financial statements. Okay, so I'm going to do the statement of financial position as an example. So this is your statement of financial position. You know you started with assets. And you'll start with non-current assets. So if you look at your trial balance, you have one non-current asset, which is equipment. So now you're going to say equipment. 
And as you guys know, you have to have a column for cost and a column for accumulated depreciation. Okay, so what is the cost of the equipment? 50,000, it hasn't changed according to your trial balance, so it stays at 50. What is accumulated depreciation? It was 22, but to the 22 you added 10, which means it is now 32,000. So in accumulated depreciation, it will be 32,000, not 22 only, and not 10 only, but it's the amount together. 32,000 is your new accumulated depreciation. Okay, and then your total will come here. Okay, let me give you the total, which will be 18,000. So the carrying value of your equipment is 18,000. You then move on to current assets, and you have a current asset which is accounts receivable. And as you know, in accounts receivable, you need to say your accounts receivable minus your allowance. So in brackets, I'm going to start by my accounts receivable, which is right at the top. I'm going to say, in my trial balance, I had 12,000. And from my 12,000, I minus 2,000. Okay, so over here in your trial balance, you had 12,000. You then minus 2,000. So your new accounts receivable is 10,000. So that 10,000 will go into the brackets in your statement of financial position. Okay, and then you have to minus your allowance. So now you go back to your trial balance and you say my allowance was 2,000. I then added the 1,000, so my allowance is now 3,000. So in your statement of financial position, you have to minus say 3,000. So your cost receivable net figure becomes 7,000, which is 10 minus 3. Okay, and that is how you'll do all the statements, whether it be statement of profit or loss, statement of changes in equity, or the statement of financial position. You have to take into account your original amounts, you take into account your adjustments, which is in additional information, and then you put it together in the statements.